Teacher who quit her job to work at Costco exposes appalling realities of her career in education, saying it left her broken, traumatized, and fearing for her life. So a former teacher who quit her job to take up a role as a cashier at Costco has laid bare the horrifying trauma she suffered while working in education, claiming it left her broken and fearing for her life. Maggie Perkins, 30, from Atlanta, Georgia, was a teacher for eight years in both public and private schools in two different states, and during that time, she taught three different subjects in eight grade levels, including university students. However, she decided to quit teaching more than five months ago, and since then, she has been detailing how much better her life is via TikTok, where she has more than 80,000 followers. Which, by the way, I always find it weird that people share so much about their personal lives on these social media accounts. So in one clip, the mom of two touches on some of the perks of working as a cashier at Costco, telling viewers, I'm not afraid for my life. I'm not laying awake at night worrying about parent emails. I'm treated with respect by my managers. I can go to the bathroom if I need to go to the bathroom. Interesting. I spent my career as a teacher trying to make sure that I want doing something wrong. I wasn't doing any doing something wrong versus at Costco. I'm able to focus on the things that I'm doing right and how to do them better. And many of Maggie's followers have quizzed her about her salary, and she says her finances haven't changed since she quit teaching for working in retail. She explains in one video that when she was investigating whether she would like to work at Costco, she discovered on Glassdoor that the wages start at $18.50. Costco employees start on the minimum wage, with this rising $1.00 for every 1,000 hours worked. And according to the job site Indeed.com, the average teacher salary in Atlanta is $19.54 per hour, with the lowest reported hourly wage being $10.72 and the highest being $35.61. Maggie says she really enjoyed teaching and that was the part of the job she loved the most, along with 98% of the students, but the gaslighting and poor treatment she experienced is what impacted her mental health. She ended up being prescribed medication for anxiety, depression, ADHD, migraines, and insomnia during her time as a teacher. Touching on the issues within the education system, she says teachers are being coerced and gaslit on a daily basis to stay on this sinking ship. I can say with great certainty that these issues are system systemic, and they are not getting better, they are getting worse. One of the major problems is that teachers are exiting faster than they are entering the field. People are retiring as soon as they can, districts are making no effort to retain teachers, and not making efforts to find out why teachers are leaving. They're just taking new people who are trained usually, but not prepared. They will burn out very quickly and it's not their fault even though people make them feel guilty for it. They are lacking support and they don't have the veteran teachers to lean on that they used to. And one commenter at La Mo asked Maggie if her teacher's salary was doubled or tripled, would she go back to teaching, but she said no, as it was never about the money. Along with a less stressful work environment, other perks of working at Costco, Maggie says, include free snacks from the bakery. Honestly, that sounds pretty nice. Getting free executive membership for friends and family. Which, by the way, that could actually help your family save a lot of money. And your friends a lot of money. Like, on an an annual basis. And wearing casual clothes. While she says many people go into teaching to spend time with their family, she has found she actually has more quality time with her family as there's no marking or administration to do when she gets home. She told one commentator who works as a teacher and said they were too scared to quit and not match their kids' schedules. Now that I only work 40 hours, I really am home with my kids when I'm home. See, I... This is the thing that I think a lot of people don't understand. 
Like if your job basically requires you to keep working basically off the clock over time, you're like you're never really like off work, like which is a pretty big issue, right? It's like some people, not everyone, not everyone, right? Like if you own your own business, you're basically on the clock no matter what. But some people like the ability to be like, hey, I put in eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, however many hours, right, for the day of work, and then I'm done. I can forget what I basically did that day and then just enjoy the rest of my day, right? Like for me personally, I would love to basically consistently make money from like 4 a.m. till about like 12 p.m. or 2 p.m. and then have the rest of the day completely free to do whatever I want. I think that would be like a perfect schedule for me, right? But some people need this type of thing. Like they are much happier with actually having like a set schedule. Like, okay, I can handle working 10 hours a day. I can handle working 14 hours a day if that's it, period, end of story, right? So since talking about her career change via social media, Maggie says she has noticed that people are very uncomfortable with the idea that someone can leave a noble profession and enter something that's just retail and be happier. Addressing her doubters, she says, I'm okay with that. The comfort of strangers on the internet is not what pays my bills or makes me happy, but I do like calling attention to these dichotomies that we have in society and the values that have been assigned to teaching versus retail. And this is the thing that like another people really need to understand too. The reality, right, is that the only thing that really matters is does whatever you do in terms of making money pay for whatever lifestyle you're living, right? Like there are people right now making a full-time living playing games, okay? Various games. Some games that don't even have like a big player base and yet they're able to make a full-time living doing it because it's able to cover their costs, Right? So you got to keep that in mind. For example, say, you know, you were working a job as like a garbage man or garbage lady or whatever. If you were making 60, 70K a year, would you really care what other people thought? I mean, as long as it pays your bills, puts money in the bank puts money towards investments, you don't really got to necessarily worry about money, and you could be off the clock when you're off the clock, would you really care about the job title? Like some people got to have that nice job title, right? Like some people just got to have that nice car, even though they can't afford it. Like sometimes it's just better to like take a step back and be like, hey, can I cover my living expenses doing this blank job if I can that's all that really matters like like realistically speaking that's literally the only thing that matters as long as you can cover your living expenses that is the only thing that matters So looking ahead Maggie says she might consider trying for a management position at Costco But for now, she is happy and she needs to learn a lot more before moving up. Many commenters have thanked the former teacher for sharing her story. At Dieter.Pinklage wrote, My wife is leaving the education career behind and is considering Costco because of your story. And at Ashintin Minard said, I feel like I owe my life to you. I just left education after a very brief introduction to it and have a degree. Thank you for speaking out. 
While Maggie appears to be overjoyed working at Costco, some commenters have said they had a different experience while working there. At Rachel warned TikTokers, do not work in the bakery at Costco. I repeat, do not. Literally the worst years of my life. While at Joshua James mused, shopping at Costco the other day, I was not happy. It's a zoo. Working there would be a nightmare. Maggie acknowledges while there might be the odd grumpy cat visiting the store, her overall work-life balance is much better than when she worked in education. She concludes, I used to just joke that the air was dirty and the kids were germy. It was so much more. I spent my 20s just crumbling. It's still shocking to me how different my life is now that I've left. Let's see. Oh, this is an interesting... uh, comment. I was a teacher years ago. My doctor told me that he prescribed more antidepressants and medications for urinary tract infections for teachers than anyone else. The UTI meds were necessary because teachers are frequently not allowed to go to the bathroom. Elementary teachers in particular don't get many breaks and cannot leave students unattended. All levels of teachers cope with depression as they struggle to maintain discipline Grade papers, write lesson plans, and teach according to current mandates. If you haven't taught school for at least a year, or been very close to someone who does, you're unlikely to fully comprehend the stresses of the job. See, like, the thing is that I don't necessarily like to see in the teaching profession is that they make it so nonstop in terms of the responsibilities on the teachers, right? Like, Teachers shouldn't have to be caring what the students are doing past the school day. Like, the whole system is completely screwed up and honestly is really outdated. Really, a lot of schooling should just be online. You should be able to just do online classes. Like, like It's just so outdated. It just doesn't make any sense. Like If you had like a structured online schedule for your classes everything open book that's really like this is the thing how about just have schools mainly focused on getting people specific jobs like trade schools you know like I just don't understand the purpose of really like big schools nowadays the same feel free to give your thoughts about this if you stumble upon this if you want to learn how to get out of debt Go down below.